Hello and welcome back to Particular Pixels. I'm Xiao Ling and this is One Hit KO. I came across this game in the upcoming Steam releases list and it seemed pretty interesting to me. So I reached out to the developers to get a review code for the game and they were nice enough to provide me with one. It's basically a game along the lines of One Finger Death Punch, which I really, really enjoyed and was hoping for the same kind of experience, except with Shaolin monks and all kinds of other interesting characters that were in the roster. The way the game works, for those of you who don't know, basically enemies approach you from either side and then you have to either press left or right in order to kill them or the X and B buttons if you are using a controller to defeat them. You'll notice there's a highlighted area below your character, which is your range. If you try to attack an enemy outside of this range, you will miss, which will leave you in a vulnerable state for a second or two, which means you can get killed pretty easily. The problem is that this footprint is a little bit difficult to see because every character that you choose in the game has a different color footprint and depending on the stage you're on, it can be hard to see and it can get you killed as well. If you do get hit just once, you'll have to restart the whole stage over again from the beginning, hence the name One Hit KO. This is also one place where it differs from One Finger Death Punch, which in, depending on the stage you're on gives you between 1 and 10 health, so you can sustain a few hits before your round ends. Now, unlike One Finger Death Punch, there are, as I said, actually a variety of different characters in this game that can all be unlocked from getting a certain number of kills in the game. Quite a lot of them, all of them references to various games and films like uh, Street Fighter's Chun-Li or Kung Fu Master's hero character or Kickboxer. There are a whole bunch of them. Some of them I don't recognize, some of them you guys may recognize, but I did think that was a pretty nice touch. Now, unfortunately, they all behave in exactly the same way. Even according to the Steam page description, all of these characters are just cos cosmetic changes and make no actual changes to the gameplay itself. They don't have their special abilities. And I think that this is somewhat of a missed opportunity because this, I think, is the one place that this game could have differentiated itself from One Finger Death Punch. This could have been its strength, but it's not utilized. So basically, it's just a cosmetic change. There are also a number of different backdrops in the game. Unfortunately, all the stages seem to rain for some odd reason, uh, except for the main menu, that's when it's not raining. But at the core, there is only one level in this game. So every time you play the stage, it's going to play out in the same way. So once you learn the stage, for example, once I've killed 65 people, the running guy is going to come running in on the screen which is not necessarily unlike One Finger Death Punch, except that One Finger Death Punch has lots and lots of different levels to play, all with different types of challenge modes and survival modes, which keep things interesting for the majority of the playthrough, which unfortunately One Hit KO lacks severely. As you basically get higher up in the kill count, new enemies are going to start appearing, runners and ninjas that disappear when you hit them and run back at you, and all these kinds of things, until eventually you are going to get to a boss fight, once you've defeated the boss, I believe it unlocks hard mode and then you'll get to play through the same level again, except this time it's going to be harder. I'd imagine that the enemies are either going to move faster or the harder enemies are going to start appearing earlier in your kill count or perhaps both. However, I can't get myself to play this game that much. Boredom set in pretty quick after I started playing it. It just seemed kind of flat. There is one looping music track which gets repetitive really, really quickly because it's not particularly great either. And the same tedious level over and over with no variety or variation doesn't help. In fact, after playing this for a bit, I loaded up One Finger Death Punch just to play it again because I hadn't played it for ages to sort of get a fresh perspective and to make a better comparison. And it actually ended up playing the game for a good few hours before having to sort of tear myself away from that game to come back and play this one. One Hit KO feels like a watered down, bland version of One Finger Death Punch. It lacks the level interactivity that's present in the other game because in One Finger Death Punch you hit enemies, they, f they go into things in the environment and break things and that creates a, a nice visceral feel to the combat which obviously is missing here. There are no weapons in this game to add variety. In One Finger Death Punch of course you've got swords and spears and bows and bombs and all kinds of other things that add some change to the combat as well. They are cool slow motion moments. The combat in this game feels very, very stale in comparison to the fast-paced, responsive combat in One Finger Death Punch. You don't ever feel like a badass in this game like you do in One Finger Death Punch. So yeah, that is a little bit of pity. Uh, One Finger Death Punch also has several music tracks that are very well suited to the gameplay and don't really get that repetitive and they do help drive the gameplay along. 
One hit KO unfortunately has none of that and it's a little bit disappointing for me to have to say that. It's basically just one bland stage that goes on and on and on. It gets repetitive pretty damn quickly. That's it. That's the entire game. I think that it may have some replayability because of the hard mode. But honestly, I think you are probably going to get bored way before that time comes. And I can't in good conscience recommend this game to anyone. If you are looking for this type of game, go out and buy yourself one finger death punch. You won't regret it. You'll get way more out of that game than you will out of this. And one finger death punch is probably dirt cheap by now. So what I'm going to do is leave you guys with two clips. The first one is going to be of me killing 50 guys in one hit KO immediately followed by me killing 50 guys in one finger death punch both with full audio and music and no commentary you can look for yourself and you can make up your own mind otherwise as usual if you guys have any questions you can let me know in the comments section below hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching i've been shaoling until next time